Uh, Chelsea, what is what want is to farm slicing mats? What good are uh, mods if you can't slice them? Yeah, I completely agree. I mean, to be honest, that's what I'm thinking to myself here. It's like, on this account, I've got a lot of, uh, I don't even know what you call them, the very first slicing mod to go from 5E to 5D. Uh, got about 100 or so of them. But when it comes to the, the next bunch, I'm a little bit short. So I could do with getting so I can actually see these greens turn into blues and see if they're actually any use. Uh, fancy chance for the win. It's going to be a little bit tricky. Um, but yeah, see, we got a win first round against Colby. We got a win last round against Ewok Cypher. I'll just show you this one. <laughs> I was going to say, some crystals from your hood would probably not go amiss by you. I will say that. Is there anyone else in the chat, right? Like Chelsea here, and I've got a guildmate as well, Jacko is the same, who hoards crystals to what I can only call ridiculous proportion. I mean... What is it, about 14,000? Maybe more? And I look at that and I'm like, what the heck do you spend them on? Or don't spend them on? <laughs> I mean, look at me, I've just blown, what is it, 900 crystals just getting uh, layer to gear 12? <laughs> but yeah, just about GA. You know lots more than 14k. Yeah, I, I, it's just a way of get, playing this game I don't understand. Yeah, JKL got three olds, and I think after that the guy just said, nope, I'm out. <laughs> so I'm quite happy with that. It seems like JKL's tripping people up at the back. Um, but yeah, we're up against Diflex. I think he's got two dark side tunes to my two light side tunes. Difference is they belong in one team. So yeah. Yours is bigger than Jacko's. Ooh. And so Jacko's been spending a bit then. I know he used to have a big hoard. Okay. Always like checking the wrecks for Sam, but this does not look good. 255 speed. What's his revenue at? I do download these, or at least have a look at the uh, the stats online, but I always forget to download them. 322. Considering they were 6A mods, that was bad. Two ninety five speed. Mm, just shy of 200k health and protection. A eh, chunk of tenacity there, though, so that's not bad. You're going to spend a bit. <laughs> Probably the best idea. You tend to keep a 3 to 4k buffer for when you need to buy a few pieces of gear, etc. So my refresh is dictated by how many crystals I'm earning and what I need to spend. 14k crystals for me as a free to play player is a resource I'd want to spend. At least a bit. That's kind of me. If I've got that many crystals, I'd think I'm not actually progressing in the game if I'm hoarding that much. It's impressive ordering, I'm not knocking it. It's just because I say I don't understand how you can hoard that much doesn't mean I'm not impressed by the actual resilience of doing it. Yeah, early impressions here, the mods aren't great. That, that Malik wasn't bad, but that wasn't really a speed build. Yeah, nothing spectacular here as well. I mean, it's Relic 4 and 72k protection. No tenacity. Armor not great. Can't say I get that one. Hmm. Alright. We'll move on. Let's just see how he's uh, put his defense down. I'm pretty sure he's got get a get fleet, if not two. Let's just double check that. Yeah, he's got two get fleets. Although that isn't built up much, so... That could be fun. Oh yeah, I know you're doing alright in Arena. I know you're doing alright. No need to check that. Okay, no attacks. Curious if uh, he'd had a nibble. Yeah, no nibbles.
Okay. Nothing too concerning there. JKR would be a worry, but not the biggest. Okay. I'm a, a teeny weeny bit worried now. I can get through these two pretty comfortably. I could do CLS against Padme and I could do Gas against Darth Revan, which by no means is a foregone conclusion, but I can at least use that team. The downside is, I then lose a the team for JKR. I don't, my Ray couldn't take that out. On my Ray Jelly training. So I'd be kind of reliant on Bounty Hunters being able to get past it, which would be a big ask. I mean, that was a pretty big JKR, wasn't it? Yeah, it wasn't the, the biggest, but it's still pretty big. Plus side, there's no GK, so I could potentially get around and, you know, actually use boss lead. That's a positive. Downside is, the weakest would probably be a Hoda, and he's style straight away, so that ain't good. Alright, we'll come back to that. We'll come back to the top wall. Let's clear the bottom because the way I see it, if I can clear his bottom, he'd have to clear mine to match me. And I have played place from the same last two rounds, so JKL's still chilling back here. No, no Darth Revan. Darth Revan's, uh, a little bit after JML's unlocked. I was saying to myself, once JML's unlocked, so as you might have saw earlier, I'm doing layer and wedge now. Once I've done that, I want to just round out a few of the rebel factions that, I've not, that I was working on. So like, I want my rebel fighters built up a bit more. I'd like to get my rogue one a little bit higher just so that I can uh, have a good casting you wing and that kind of thing. And then after that, I'd probably just loop back around and do some bounty onto work just before going for Darth Revan. It sounds like the long way around, honestly, but it's just basically rounding out a few jobs I might have started before I went for JML. So, yeah, it's. Uh, sounds worse than it is, really. Like, I'd like to get the resistance pilots built up because they make a very cool uh, Padme counter. It would then save me having to do this each time. This is a big cost. Oh yeah, CLS is uh, a very clean counter for Padme. If you got the three pack anyway. <coughs> three PO and two makes it a clean counter. If you haven't, then it gets dicey. So let's give that to Horn. Yeah, we won't get rid of the Torm, but we can at least put something out there. Um, okay, we got rid of the Torm. That, I didn't expect that. Usually we uh, just have to keep the buff immunity on with the Torm. Um, okay, we're going to do an AoE. Just hit that expose. Uh, carry on. AoE. Uh, basics. Alright, bye bye. Ooh. Now that one I thought would have gone. So, um, alright, we're going to stick with GK. <clears throat> no one's on three yet. I wouldn't mind 3PO and Chew against three stacks. There we go. Basics. Basics. Uh, go on, give Kenobi a big hit. Okay, um... Oh, okay. Okay. You wouldn't believe this is a clean counter how it's playing out. Kenobi's just sort of got me a little bit. Alright, we're gonna have to get around the tool. He's been a pain with it. So, let's do that. 
And I want to give that to three pack again. Right, there we go. Oh, you sneaky little so-and-so. That should get rid of him. There we go. Much better. All right. GK here has been annoying, but it's not the worst case. I saw something about my trio then. On here, they're at hot garbage. My trailer is gear 8, 7 star. My scion is... I think he's 4 star or 6 star, 1 or 2. And then Nihilus is 4 or 6 star as well. I can't remember which is which. Right, can we get a nice clean hit there? Okay, we're going to stick on Kenobi, man. We just want to kill Padme via the AoEs. Right. Saying that. That was a nice big hit. Oh, that just didn't punch through that bonus protection. I know the bonus protection, or the protection up builds up a bit there, but I just want to punch through her a bit. Come on. Come on. Alright, I'm going for Kenobi just for a turn while she's in the, in the alley. There we go. Come on, we got to punch through now. There we go. Alright. That was one of the more annoying... Actually, I've done like that in a long time. Alright, dropped a banner, 59, but oh well. But yeah, um, Trio, Thrawn, Gideon, Counter up to Scratch, they need to be Relic, but they come to beat, beat Padme. Yeah, like I say, they're just not ready yet. <laughs> it is a clean counter. CLS versus Padme, that is probably the toughest one I've had in a while, as far as time. Usually I can get it done in two minutes. I mean, this one I'm more worried about, because Fiverr first versus uh, Darth Revan is not a clean counter. We can beat him, but... Yeah, I'd rather not be using this. <laughs> <coughs> I mean, I should outspeed them, which will give me a couple of turns to establish dominance, shall we call it. <laughs> there we go, form up. Let's uh, give that Rex. Let's go for Bastler. Bed days doesn't hurt there. Right, let's stick with Basti. Yeah, set's going to be annoying it. Alright, thank you, Fives. Just stick with us. Oh, wow. Have that. Ooh, wee! Boy, oh boy. Fifty-three. I'm taking it. We're through. Because of how arc is, I have to take the sacrifice. So, I don't mind losing banners with it. It's just. You wouldn't want to lose banners. Ooh, okay, we've got Bad Batch on defense. Ooh. Okay, not well built, but still. I'll give this guy credit for actually thinking to put him down. Okay. 
I'll have to have a think on that. Imperial troops on defense is rare as well. Right, I need to try and get past this JKR now. Gango lead is absolutely useless here. We get to Nasty up first turn, so I might as well just go with Bounty Hunters. I don't think my Empire could take it out, or my Sith. I don't know if anyone disagrees there. My Relic 3 Vader probably couldn't punch through that. Yeah, the back wall shouldn't give me many problems. By the way, I keep saying I'm, I'm tempted to put my Bad Batch down. They aren't big, but it's like, it would save me putting a proper team down on defense. put Dengar in there. I like the idea of just the mass AoE to get my, uh, health recovery. Um, Zam's nice, but she doesn't have that big AoE for that effect. So, um, yeah, we'll hope Dengar at gear 12 can hold up for us. Plus, stealthy means he can't be targeted too easily. DJ, hello there. Another all-nighter. How are you getting on? got the contract. Yeah, bye bye Django. GMY's got the contract, I will take that. Until he does that, then that just screws me over. Um, let's do that, just try and get some banners that way. Go for Bastler. I feel like I need a... Uh, Buff to spell on this team somehow. Let's do that. That did next to nothing. Right, still got taunt. Ooh. Yeah, not looking good there. Um, really not good there. Uh, double tap, please. Oh, 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 oh. And they got a hard on then for getting uh, Django out. 30% of the way to the contract as well. I'm not even sure I can get an Annihilator in here. Yeah, I'm, I'm done here. Right now, I'm just hoping I can get a turn. Yeah, back out. Yeah, Janko Zeta. He didn't get the... Uh, he didn't get the... Um, Bounty Hunter's Resolve back or the Protection back because it wasn't actually Elimination. It was... Uh, JKR got... Sorry, JKR gets them to 1, 1 HP and then revi essentially revives and said you don't actually die. <laughs> so I wasn't surprised by that. That just blows. <laughs> yeah, th th that just blows. I mean, it's like they sort of knew who to go for there. They thought if Django gets us, we're stuck. So I'm thinking, could I have gone for Boba as well for the buff dispel? But yeah, it didn't help that straight away GMY st uh, stole stealth. I mean, maybe that's why I shouldn't have put Dengar in. But even saying that, Grief Addict as well. Yeah, that's its saviour, yeah. Hmm, well, I don't think my Vader could do it. I'd back uh, Crimson to stand a chance, but yeah, Tamini hasn't got supporting characters. Okay, so with that in mind, I'm going to try and just mop up, I mean, mop up around. But yeah, that just sucks. Okay, I'm going to try and not. Dengar should have prevented stealth. 
Just trying to remember. I'll have to rewatch the battle, but if um if Dengar If Dengar gets stealth Sorry, I'm trying to struggle get my words out here. Dengar prevents stealth if he's got stealth. So if GMY took the stealth off grief and then Dengar got stealth, it won't stop the stealth. That's a very convoluted way of saying it. <laughs> Hello there, Inferno Helix. Um, hydrate and posture check. Okay, I've got a little drink here. And we've also got Daishi. Should have used Vader versus DR since there was no mallet there. Malak was there. Yeah, Vader, um, I've tried the Vader counter recently, um, I did Grand Moff Tarkin lead. It kind of did something, but yeah, I also got wiped out, so it wasn't great. Um, yeah, GAC's okay, not the greatest, but I don't know, I'm still hopeful. This guy's got to get past JKL back here, so I'm hopeful that'll trip him up a little bit. I mean, he's put some of his strong teams down, let's be honest. I mean, he hasn't put Vader down. He's got CLS. Yeah, have a look at it. He's going to have a tough time getting past me. So, there's a chance I've got this in the bag. Plus, to be honest, his mods weren't great. So I'm looking at it and thinking, as long as I box smart here, I should win. You're confused by GAC right now, okay? What's confusing? Alright, I'm going to try Vader here. I think this is a good place to use him. So, Empire, put Vader lead in. We'll go... Brawn just with the TM and sure him. You can only get Kai before winning every round, and if I remember correctly, there's three phases. You, you, I wouldn't say you get it for winning every round. You get it for winning a certain amount. It's like on Crimson, I don't win every round, but I've had Kai for a few times. that. There we go, pass that over to Shore Trooper. 62. Three fa phases to GAC. There's three rounds in a week and there are four weeks. So you do 12 battles in total. Yeah, just checking I got my numbers right. There are 12 battles in the entire Grand Arena. I'm, I don't know for certain, but I guess you can win 10 out of 12 and get Kyber. I think they sort of give you an allowance for one, one or two. Essentially, if you just have a bad week. Like Crimson, I'm sure I've had, say, a good run. Like, I've had nine, uh, nine uh, rounds un unbeaten. Then the final week, I've just got screwed over. I've had bad rounds, but I still get Kyber early on. Yeah, it's four weeks. Yeah, four weeks and a week off. Yeah, I'm still wondering what to do with these. It's like a very odd thing to face. Yeah, I'm going to say, uh, if you're 6-0 currently, then the way I see it, probably 10 out of 12, you'll get Kyber. If you carry on with that uh, run anyway. I don't really want to use Ray here for the simple fact I remember way back when they said Ray was a counter for sorry, Night Sisters were a soft counter to Ray, so thinking what else have I got? Although right now it might be the best option. 
Let's try it. If it doesn't work, I can try something else. Well, hang on, I have got one more resistance, so I'll just throw him in. Um, yeah, Trooper will probably die quick, but let's use him. I don't think I could have done anything different in that uh, JKR match. I need to grief. Though, it's just one of them things, as soon as he steals the stealth, we're stuck. Yeah, Trooper will die. Oh, no. Okay, still in it. Um, let's go over there. Double tap. Let's get some burning out. Yeah, Trooper dies, no big surprise there. He was really just a body. This is where I came in with the soft counter because... I'm not looking hot here. Ray looks like she's about to die. Really do with Finn taking a turn and just healing us up a little bit. Yeah, this this could kill us. Killed R2. Oh, hang on, that was a miss it. Yeah, we're done for it. Back out. Uh lost my final. My opponent had a GL advantage in that kill that he put three gels on back four. Ooh. That, that is cruel, that, that is cruel. Go and say. I mean, I've been watching a few of the top uh, Division 1 2 type uh, GA since the 5v5 season started, and yeah, generally you don't see a lot of people putting GLs down right now. It's as if the attitude is, I'd rather use them for offense. So, straight at the back, I'd be gutted there because I'd be thinking, wow, you really wanted to. And yeah, that was a lot of play. Yeah, I did say it, Daishi, I did say it. I mean, I went in thinking maybe I could just, I don't know, fluke it. <laughs> I don't know what else to phrase it. <laughs> I ran out of counter, so I had to give it a go. I've got stuff at the back that I can just wipe this out with, but he's going to get two teams to beat at the top, essentially. If he can clear my JKL, which I'd be amazed, he'd still have to beat two at the top. So I think we're doing all right as far as... I just don't see him beating JKL. Vader, maybe, but... I don't know. I just don't know how it's going to go. Uh, Inferno, I almost threw my final in the bin. I noticed last second my first order execution had Relic 5. Oh, you, if I had Relic 5, five or first, uh, you instantly put first order in top wall. Okay, I, I find it so weird why nobody goes for my bottom wall. It's literally a team you shouldn't put on defense and everyone ignores it. Sometimes people go for ships because it's uh, more banners, I think. Be full cleared and we drop one battle, but banners are crap. Yeah. <clears throat> I've got to be honest, that's why I'm a little bit disappointed out on my showing here. It's like, generally, let me get Chirut out of there actually. Let's go for these pair. Yeah, these wonderful pair. Um, yeah, I prefer full, well not prefer, but I get a lot of enjoyment out of full clear. So when something like that happens with JKR, it's a bit of a bummer because it just means you've got to settle for second. Well, second as far as what you would like. Um, bye bye Piet. I've never used this team in my life, by the way, in case anyone's wondering. Okay, that was a bummer, but... Oh, well. He's dead. Uh, 
Uh, they don't even attempt bottom wall. Uh, the back wall is one of the strong teams, so it would be a Juno card. Maybe that's it. Maybe they just think they'd rather go top. Like I say, some, sometimes you can only clear half of the board, so sometimes they might say, I'll go top and clear ships. Especially if, like you say, you put something difficult at the back. Yeah, I mean, I think the, if you can, if you got the full clear, you did say that, didn't you, Daishi? Yeah, you full clear. The way I look at it is, even if it's crap banners, at least you got the full clear. It, oh, you think it's going to equal the loss? Has it actually been a loss, or are you just expecting it? I mean, fair enough, you think, if, if you're confident with the uh, first order. Uh, it has been a loss. Like I say, I think that is a bit rough, that. I mean... <coughs> my accounts here, they've only, I've got one GL between the two. And I think I've put my GL down once so far, just for the fact that... I kind of thought he'd struggle to get past it. But... Yeah, besides that, I haven't done it, because I like using it for offence. So, I, I don't really get point three at the back. It's like... If you're going to put three down, put them at the front. Essentially, they right, you got to get past these. Right at the back, it's like a ah, you weren't expecting this, ha <laughs> ha. You know, it's like get over it. And for the record, there is no rhyme or reason here. <coughs> I'm, I'm just I'm throwing something at it. <coughs> I want to get to crimson. Crimson could be uh, the fun one here. Oh, hang on, wrong one, but never mind. There we go. Yeah, it is a fair point. I mean... I, again, I understand the logic of points at the back, but it doesn't mean that I still think it's a bit of a waste. I mean, you're still going to have to use teams at the back anyway, aren't you? It's to do with your guild's GP. So, the bigger your guild, the higher the rewards go. So, I think, currently... We are done here, by the way, so I'm just going back out of here. Um, got any feats? One feat. Claim that. There we go. You've got YouTubers who are for entertainment, and then you've got YouTubers who are for information. I think he really is at the top of the information list, as far as those who, as you say, people refer to him. No, and I love that. You know, I think... If I mention stuff in my videos, I sometimes do... I think I actually did it with uh, the last... I did a video on HSTR last week, and I did... Put it right at the very beginning saying I'm using bit down to strategy because I was showing it off just for a bit of fun. But I thought I'm not gonna make out like this is my strategy or anything. I won't make sure it's clear. Yeah, this is bit dynasty. You know, this is this guy this guy's stuff. Anyone would know that anyway, but might be the old people who don't. Okay. We had a lot lost in the first round to Rob Zombie. Uh, the guy had two GLs, and that did kind of cost me. I say kind of, because what happened is I was able to beat his SLKR on defense. We did a mirror match. The downside was I didn't check my own mods. So as it turned out, I went into the match thinking, oh, yeah, I'll uh, I'll do a Malik solo at the back here, and it cost me. I thought, oh, yeah, Malik will be all right against Night Sisters. I thought I got a nasty build. As it turned out, I got squat into nasty for some reason i don't know why and got a load of protection and speed but yeah the knights is just ran circles around me even without the zetas so i'm still gutted about that if i'd have played it smart i would have won it instead i cocked up so yeah bit of a bummer there um lesson to everyone check your mods last round we did all right i think this guy Put down a pretty soft defense. Did he attack? Yeah, he did attack. Yeah, we got through pretty comfortably. 
So, apple flavor. What have you got for me? Door Mini Warriors. This guy's bigger than me. He's 4.5 million. Crimson's 3.9. So, there's a bit of GP difference here. I've heard, it, I've heard you mention uh, Lockita, is it? Yeah, I think that is a, a gap in the market, as it was. Someone does really need to help new players, because I feel like even if Arnold's doing his free-to-play account say, it's he's still got his focus on the end game. so there is a gap in the market there, for sure. Okay. I'm a, a little bit worried here. If he... Puts SLKR down and gas. I'm not sure I could beat... Well, I could beat both, but it'd be tricky. I'd have to do a mirror match and Darth Revan, but... We'll see how we get on. This one could be a little awkward, depending on what he's put down. Okay. Enter. Yep. Kind of what I thought. Done heavy defense. That blows to see, because I can't beat all that. Yeah, and by the looks of it, he has not attacked. Hmm. Yeah, I'll have to check him out. I think I might have subscribed to him on YouTube, but I, pro I, I know I haven't watched his videos yet. I've just not got around to it. Hmm. Right. So I can do an SLKR mirror. I can do Darth Revan versus Gas. <laughs> I think uh, if you can do a mod farming guide, that would be something that a lot of new players would be interested in. The Relic and Gear farming. Again, I'll have to have a look. Okay. I'm just focusing on this for a minute, right? I can do an SLKR mirror match. I can do Darth Revan versus... Gas. That's when we get to the sketchy point, because I'm thinking... I could try... Vader versus Darth Revan. And then, just supposing I get past that, which is a big ask, I could then try... Then try um, a JKR mirror match. Then try it for the Geos. So, there's a lot of ifs here. Three twenty-two speed. I'm fairly certain it'd speed past my Vader. Hmm. No problem, Gavster, no problem. It's nasty on Mallet there. Yeah, go and enjoy it, Gaster. Go and enjoy it. They're calling it Freedom Day tomorrow here. I'm not sure if it's the right word for it, but... Uh, yeah, go and enjoy your drinks and meal. Alright, I need to see why he's hiding, because he's gone very heavy on these front walls. So, let's just see how we get on. I want just double-check I haven't clicked the wrong thing. Let's start on SLKR. Alright. Let's get going. So 
always a chance in a mirror match I can lose. I really don't want that to happen. Let's just put it like that. My hooks is faster so I can pass TM to SLKR. Doesn't make a big deal of difference, but it's still nice to have that first turn. Alright, we're going to take away the taunt and the advantage, and hopefully Sift Trooper will come in with an assist. There we go. Crit it as well. So, AoE. We're going to do that on uh, crew. Yep, that by Fast. We'll do the AoE. And we're going to wipe out crew. Oh, just that, oh, a bit unlucky there. I was hoping he'd hang in there. Okay, so we've got one up to, to go. SLK on their side looks ready to go as well, so this could be a bit tight. Right, we've got two ults. That's great. Okay. Um... I don't want to ult first. I do not like ulting first. So I'm going to try and get rid of... I won't get rid of Sith Trooper, but I want to deal some damage. I always think it's better to react with your ult. Right, can we hit him? Okay. In we go. Two turns. Two turns. I feel quite comfortable now. Okay, we've built up a mastery and we're going to give him a poke. 47, that's about as good as I can get in a mirror match, so no complaints. Uh, Chelsea, I'm paying for getting that full Cabanti from Bronze teams yesterday. Got stiffed on Shards this morning. Ooh. Unlucky, that's all I can say. Unlucky. It tends to be the way of things. You do good in one area and it costs you in another. Right. Oh, my horn's on defense, damn. Oh. Damn. That's just cost me a counter. Oh, sugar. Alright, that is not good. That is just not good. 275 speed, it's going to go pretty quick. I don't know why I'm looking at Echo. Um... The offense build. I could punch through it pretty quick. Not very fast gas. Wait, seven speed arc. That's a quick arc trooper. Alexa, what is 275 times 1.2? Thank you. Yeah, I'm 311. Three eleven and three oh four. Okay, this is not good. I've got to point out that it's not good. My Gideon. Three fourteen, so he go up to three thirty four. But Gideon will get the first turn. That's if I'm counting right, because Ferocity could then speed them up. Oh, no, no, there's no frosty, is there? Mm. 
334 should beat Rex's TM game. Trouble is, I've never seen Imperial Troops take on gas. What I could try though is putting Gideon in in the first in the fifth spot of that Sith Empire team. I need to have a look at this. Yeah, nothing here. Let's go offense. Let's go Darth Revan. Right. I've got two choices. I can go. I'll well, say that. I think I have to go full Imperial Troopers. I think it has to be because I need Veer's lead. God, this is horrendous. But I think I need Piet as well. But my Dart Troopers just hasn't got any damage in him. This just looks beyond sketchy. I mean, I could try it without dark and put range in. I need to look at Gas's kit now because I've screwed myself over here putting Han on defense. If Han was here, this would be game set match already. The leader, I'm looking for anything with bonus protection. Or protection up. You've decided on the Zeta, okay. okay. I can't see anything with bonus protection there. Okay, so we might be alright with bonus protection. It's not like uh, anything big that punishes it. Where I feel like I could do a normal view of popping in. They've updated the guild request page. Yeah, sorry folks, I'm a little distracted now. I'm just trying to think how improbable it is I can win this. <laughs> Oh, you're talking about like in the guild uh, search section in game? Yeah, they did that recently. Quite a good update. Okay, I'm going in with this and I'm, I'm really just on cover my eyes. This just does not feel good. Thank you, we got a turn first. Okay. Right, TM up. Gotta keep this TM train going. Uh, put that on to Stark. Okay, he's down, although Stark's gone. Okay. Come on, get rid of fives. Come on, just get rid of fives. Okay, how about Rex? Can we get rid of Rex? Ark? Or Echo? 
Okay. We're gonna lose. Yeah, we're gonna lose. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, you know what you want, Summers. Alright, I'm here again, right? What can take out a solo General Skywalker? clean up. <laughs> yeah, Reddit's proving useless here. Reddit's proving useless. Okay. Just going back a little bit here. I'd said to myself I would try... Vader ear. I try a JKL mirror match ear and I try Freya there. None of that was requiring Darth Revan, so I'm going to throw Darth Revan at it. <laughs> and I'm just going to hope and pray as and put something equally as big at the back, even though that would also mean I should win it, because if he's put something equally big at the back, surely he's got nothing for offense. So I'm just going to throw Darth Revan at it. This feels massive overkill, but. Equally, I, I'm pretty confident if I go under, he will just wreck me. So yeah, I'm, I'm going full Sith Empire. I, I just don't... Hang on, I'll leave out Sith Empire Trooper and I'll... Yeah, we'll leave it at that. Go on. Feels bad. Fear him. Shock him. Nope. Kill him. Alright. 40 banners. This is a bad offense showing so far. 87 banners for two wins. Alright, squishy back wall. We've got a slim chance. <laughs> a very slim chance, but <clears throat> we're going to roll with it. Okay. Empire. I'm going to do Tarkin lead. Well, I actually did put the lead Zeta on, so he's going to be a little bit faster. I'm going to go for these three. We'll put Dark Trooper in, and because I saved him, we're going to put Sith Empire Trooper in. Okay, I'll have a look once we've oh, once we finish GA. I'll have a look. That way you can see my reaction. Um, yeah, I've saved Papa Palps here and I haven't really got a home for him, but maybe I should put him in instead of Dark Trooper. Yeah, let's put him instead of Dark Trooper. Give extra speed to Vader. Oh, right, okay. What's pulling out my pocket? I thought it turned into a magician. Um, so, Dark him. Gives 30 speed to Vader, plus he'll grant exposes on uh, going to elf. So, 30 speed takes him up to 248. Then 8 speed for Empire allies, we get, um, let me just do the counting, we've got 8, 24, 32, 48, and then 56, if I'm counting right. So 56 then plus 30 is 86. 86 on top of Vader's base speed. Alexa, what is 218 plus 86? Uh, 
Thank you. So 304. He should go after. Oh, actually, Tar uh, Thrawn will probably go first, but then it should be Vader. But Revan will go first regardless, so it should be Revan, Thrawn, Vader. And because Set's there, he'll put fear on Tarkin. That's how this battle should go. Please say I've got my speeds right. <clears throat> yeah, smack. Okay, we can live with that. Let's fracture set. There we go. Merciless. Let's do that there. This feels early. Yeah, early. Okay, we can try and recover from that, okay? I need to build my Vader up. I need a lot more in him. So that one just blows. Okay. Let's just try and clean up. Preloaded, so there's Bob Hope again through that. Um, I've got what? Yeah, let's just throw in what here. This has been a dirty GA. This has been a very dirty GA. I'm not enjoying it, I've got to be honest. I like a challenge, but this guy's basically said, I'm throwing all my good stuff at you. Beat it. <laughs> I go back to it, I like a challenge. I'd rather this than uh, someone doing auto defense and just giving me a win for nothing, but there's a point when you say, all right, you've given me a challenge, but how about actually you know, balancing it out a bit. You want that sweet spot? And how this round's gone, Scion will probably bite the, the bite a bullet here. There we go. How about hatred? It would hurt quite a bit. <laughs> JKR wasn't built for that. Let's say that. Okay, yeah, could have got banners there, but 57, I'm taking it. Yeah, I'm going to do a mirror match here. I know I can win a mirror match, so we're just going to play safe. Uh, where's Plo? There we go. Time for Plo. Oh, oh. We're gone. Something's gone. Something has gone. I don't know what. Am I still streaming? Anyone there? I think I'm still here. Still got a timer. But my preview window is not playing. If anyone's in the chat, please shout out. Can I go back here? Okay, the game's still active. Let me re refresh this window, maybe that'll help. Yeah, I can't refresh my window. You still here? That, that's good to know. Something's gone wrong though. close the game down. Yeah, it's my, my music's gone, that's for certain. Let me just close that down. It's gone here. Yeah. 
The music's definitely gone up, I can tell that. Although it thinks it's playing. Yeah, that's weird. I've got audio waves now when there's no music whatsoever playing. Yeah, something weird's going on. Yeah, I, I've got no audio, so I shouldn't be hearing anything. Okay, hang on, I've just got to check this, is it? That's a feedback loop on your end. Yeah, I'm getting nothing even when I switch my outputs here. Not like it's my headphones. Um, let me mute that. Right, sorry about that, Chelsea. Um, what I've just done is I've muted everything that goes from my computer, except for my microphone. I don't know why it's doing that, though. Check my settings. There's something in there. That should have helped what I did, by the way. Should have helped. Turn that off a minute. Yeah, I can hear the music now. Now I can't. We just put that aside. I also don't know what's happened here. Um, it's all to do with the way I have the um, music coming through. All right, I'll tell you what. If it's going to do that feedback loop, I'm going to turn it turn the game audio off for the rest of the stream. I'd rather have no feedback loop than uh, it messing up. But man, I might as well turn this off because I can't hear anything. Okay, not exactly what I'm meant to do. Okay, let's just wrap up the Grand Arena then, because it's going to be a very quiet end to this stream. <laughs> yeah, I I've closed it down and reopened it. Um, I'll close it down again, just the fact that it's not uh, taking up resources. Here we go, close them two down. I've got no idea what that this is all about. Okay. I think it's something that would require a hard restart, you know, I'd have to restart my computer and it's like, that is just a pain in the backside to do. So I'm just going, I'm just going to try and blast through this. <laughs> We're going to do a JKR mirror match, so let's just get that done. I can clean up the back wall and this guy can just revel in the fact that his Darth Revan got a hold. Okay. Let's do it. I was about to bring Plo in, wasn't I? Uh, yeah, these pair. All right. Hopefully this will show why Plo is good. I just don't know what happened there. Okay, um... First one... Go for Revan. Okay, do the AoE. Full sight. Let's give that to Yoda. Oh, you cheeky gets, you knew the power of Plow. Increasing his cooldowns. Uh, let's try and get Raven out. There we go. Yeah, they know the power of Plow. 
You had to mark him for that reason. Let's uh, give that to Yoda. There we go. Now we can do our special move. <laughs> Alright, so AoE. Let's uh, get all them buffs from that side. GK will be annoying, but we can get around him. Like this. Double tap with Yoda. The very, very squishy Jolie. Bye bye, Jolie. Bye bye, JKR. Uh, go for Yoda. Uh, we can't really do much about Yoda this turn, but we'll get rid of that Yoda. Hmm, let's go for Kenobi. Then Foresight. Oh, nearly there, nearly there. Bang. And double tap. 59 banners that'll be. I'll take that. Okay. So. Darth Revan, you will hold this wall. Not particularly happy about it, but this guy seems intent on going heavy defense. Um, He might still have a team left. I don't know offhand, but if he does, oh well. I'm in an experimenting mood, and I don't know why, because I've still got stuff on the line, but... Paolo Solo? Maybe? I mean, there's days. That might not help, but... I'm curious if he's got the power. Yeah, it should be a counter in the bell. Maybe not. Okay. Right, AoE. Right, can we get rid of Alda? Yeah, nice. Oh yeah, I'll be checking. I will be checking. Yeah, we're doing alright for speed here. <clears throat> Let's get Retribution up just in case we... There we go, we got Low Grey out. Lovely. Okay, let's get the protection back. Uh, basic this turn. Oh. Okay, we're going to lose the protection banners. Okay, 63 though. I've made up a little bit there. <clears throat> okay, and then just this phoenix to clean up. I'd really like to throw something naff at it. <laughs> anyway, it's it's better doing geos, but yeah. Oh well, I was thinking could I do first order, and it's like not really worth it, is it? I need to remember to put them on defense. The waste having them on offense. Okay, go for Ezra. Bye bye Ezra. Uh, get some exposes out. Can we? Get hair out early. I need to learn that Vader counter and just see if I'm missing mods or something. I mean, not mods, but Rowlet levels. I mean, it's an important one. You could see there, if I got the right strategy there, I'd have done it. I mean, part of me is thinking, is it all down to just not having enough damage on that calling blade on Raven? We'll have to have a loot. 62. Nice win there as well. So yeah, um, no shit battles today, that's quite rare as well. But yeah, 15.18 to 8.30. Um, question is, can he match me? I'm, I'm pretty certain he can clear my top wall. I've left my top wall quite light. Um, Mandos, Scoundrels, Bounty Hunters, he should be able to blow through them regardless of what he's got on offense. Um, ships. My Negotiator is back here, but it's still level 80, so it's not going to do too much. Plus, the ships around it aren't the biggest. HMF is not ready either, so the only way you'll miss that is if you misplay it. <clears throat> Down the bottom. I'm not holding out hope that these will hold. 
um, but my Padme team isn't the best, and Ute isn't the best either. So, assuming he can clear three walls, he's won anyway. And then the back wall ain't going all too much anyway. I mean, it's all down to that, really, that I lost this. If I could have... I say all down to this, but... That didn't help me, let's say that. I could have tried the Imperial Troopers against Revan. Again, that would not have been a good match, but... They might have stood a chance. I mean, you saw they got rid of most of the gas squad, so there would have been a chance I could have got through it. But, uh, yeah, Horn cost me. I should have added it in mind that he might do all that lot on defense, but equally, you can't really know, so... Just a bit of a bummer, that, really. I mean, credit to him, he's a bigger GP than me, so I'm not going to knock him for having better teams to beat my defense, you know, so... Just to recap, what has he got left? Go to this screen as well. Not working. Oh, that doesn't look good. I've just skipped on. I've just seen I've skipped frames. Okay, hopefully it's nothing too major there. Um, but yeah, he's got a first order team he can use. He's got Wampa, which can definitely clear something of mine. Um, let's just see. He's got CLS, Night Sisters. Droids. Yeah, he's got quite a bit he can use. So, if he doesn't clear me, I'm going to be quite surprised there, to be honest. So, yeah, I'm not knocking him. He's got a bigger account. He's worked hard on what he's got, so I'm not knocking him. Um, bit of a bummer on my side that he can go so heavy on defense and still have enough to clear me. <laughs> but um, that's how I'm viewing this anyway. But we'll find out. We'll find out. Okay. So yeah, the game audio cut and everything else cut, I don't know what caused that. Um, I don't like streaming in silence, it really doesn't suit what I like doing. Um, but yeah, as far as today, we had Inferno Helix subscribing on YouTube, so thank you very much for that. Uh, nothing else on Twitch though, but thank you for all of you for tuning in. Um, why that sound played on my PC like that. Um, we're going to be back now on Wednesday for more GA. I'm not sure exactly what we're going to do in between the GAs next week, fact that heavy rain I'll probably do on Thursday. Oh no, I won't be doing it Thursday because I'm busy. So I might do back-to-back -back streams on Wednesday. It all depends on my schedule comes out there. Um, but yeah, Friday, yeah again. That day I'll either finish heavy rain or I'll uh, start something new. Then Sunday like this week, GA again. So pretty clear schedule. Uh, as soon as you're getting further on getting GL Ray, very nice, very nice. Um, you only need to upgrade four of the characters now. Still on then, I can say. Ray, even though I don't think she's the best GL right now, she's definitely still got a good use in the game, so by all means, great upgrade. Or a great thing to go for, I should say. Um, last I saw, we haven't got a lot of viewers here. Has that changed, or are we still pretty low? Loading. Loading. Are we going to show me Twitch? Two viewers. Okay, I'm not going to do a pity raid on someone, so I'm going to leave it there, right? Um, yeah, like I said, thanks for watching, folks, and I'll see you next time, right? Bye for now.